Okay, so I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, basically, if you guys want the best performance out of your deck, like as you can see, how I can flip the camera all around and it doesn't even stutter. And this is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This game is horrible. Like, the engine in this game is horrible. The game runs horrible on any computer. Uh, but as you can see, it runs really smooth on here. Um, and there's a certain way I did this, and I'm gonna show you guys the script and show you where to download it. Basically, a guy on YouTube um, pretty much made a script that changes the page file and changes how much it uses the page file or swap file on Linux, page file if you're used to Windows. Um, I mean, this game just runs so freaking good. Um, I don't know if I can hold my phone and play at the same time, but it's just so smooth. I mean, this is maxed out. This is just awesome. And um, it used to play super choppy. And, and like I was saying, uh, a script was to do this to make a few changes to your Steam Deck that are critical. And let me show you what the... Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to your internet browser in desktop mode. So this is desktop mode. You should know how to get there. And you're going to want to go to Google. And you're going to want to type in cryo utility and you'll see it come up right here cryo utility steam deck just click that and you're going to go to the cryo bytes 33 steam deck utilities github page and then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you are going to right click on this link so where it says install easy and this link, you just right click on it, it'll come up here, you click save link as. Okay, and so you, if, it, if this happens to you, this is something that has actually happened to me every single time I've done this. If you click link save as and nothing happens, here's what I do. I just come up here and save it. And then I just come over here I just reboot my entire deck. Okay, so I'm going to back up right now. Come on. Alright, so you just go right back into desktop mode. And this is something that just seems to happen, especially like if you just, like I just redid my deck to show you guys this. So if you like just installed a bunch of updates, this just, just seems to be something that happens. So you just go right back. Oh look, it even saved the page for me. Just go right back to his GitHub page and right click on it, save link as, and it comes right up. So, um, and then you just save this in your downloads and after that, you go down here to your downloads folder. So right here, downloads. You double click on install the cryo utility. Click execute. Click continue. Oh. That is right. You have to have a password. So let me go and show you guys how to make a password. So you come over here to your settings. Go over here to users. Come over here and type in change your password. Let's set a simple one. You can change your wallet password too. I always do. Just kind of. You will see all of these things right here on your desktop. So now I have the utilities. So we come over here. 
and you click on, I don't know if you guys can see what that said, uh, Cryo Utilities. It's gonna come up with a disclaimer, click yes. This is where it needs your password. Okay, so this is this is um, the first thing you need to change. This is the swap file size. Um, so when it asks you if you wanna change that, click yes. Go ahead and change it to 16. If you have a bigger Steam Deck like I do, you can change it to 32. Um, I'm actually gonna just leave it at 16 though. That's what his recommendation is. Wait for that to do its thing. Okay, so when that's done, just click OK. And then you want to swap. This this makes one of the biggest differences as well. Um, you want to change this to 1. Then this is something really good. Uh, he can explain this. If you go to Cryo33's YouTube channel, um, Man, he does a really good job of explaining this. I'll have a link to this video too in my uh, description, to the video where he shows you how to do this and talks about what trim is. Pretty much this just keeps your, your hard drive running smoothly and doesn't really keep it from clogging up. That's probably the simplest way I could put it without going into too much detail. So you wanna click on yes, enable, okay, and then yes, you wanna run trim right now. Especially for me because I've redone this deck a few times so this will just keep everything nice and squeaky clean and when that is done that is it and making those changes right there uh, alone will give you a massive performance boost uh, the next thing you can do is uh, upgrade your VRAM size to 4 gigabytes. I'm not going to show you that here in this video, um, but there's plenty of videos out there showing you how to do that. All you have to do is go to your BIOS and set your uh, buffer memory to 4 gig instead of 1 gig. Without doing this fix, that doesn't make that big of a change, changing the buffer size. But after doing this, it makes a massive, massive change. Okay, so the next thing to do after you do cryo utilities is do decky loader. Um, this doesn't really do anything for performance, but it makes your screen look a lot better and you put vibrant deck on it. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, you go, first off, the first thing you have to do is go back to gaming mode. Come over here to your Steam menu. Go down to settings. Go over to system. Go down to Oh yeah. Definitely if you care more about temperatures other than noise, this thing's not loud anyways, I would definitely uncheck that. Um, it's right here, developer mode. You wanna enable that, then you wanna come all the way down to developer mode. And you wanna go down to where it says CEF debugging, remote debugging. You want to turn that on and you want to restart it. So wait for that to restart. Okay, so our Steam Deck's back up. We will come over here and we will now boot it into, back into desktop mode. So, we will come back over here to our Firefox browser. We'll just type in Google again. Go to Decky Loader. Go to the GitHub. Scroll down to where it says install. 
and then copy where it's the, from the C to the H. So there you go. Don't want to copy anything else. I hit Control C on my keyboard, but for you guys, I'll right click on copy. And then you want to come down here to your start menu, kind of, and type in console. So C L or K O N. Open up the console. You want to paste that little command in here. Go ahead and hit enter. It should ask you for your password. Type in your password. And it's going to install Decky Loader. Um, so when that's done, you want to exit out. And we want to go back to gaming mode. And we should see the plugin. Now, the reason why we do the Cryo Utilities first and then Decky Loader is because if you do Decky Loader first and then Cryo Utilities, I don't know why, but it does some funky stuff to the Decky Loader and it doesn't want to pop back up. If you play with it and mess around with it, you can eventually get the icon to pop back up. But uh, that's why we're doing it in this order. So now you can go here and hit your three buttons, your three dot buttons. And we should have a little plug right here. Would you look at that? And that is Decky Loader. So now we're going to come up here and see if there's any updates. Let's install the update. Okay. So we're going to, that's going to reboot. Okay, and now we're going to go back to Decky. Right, so we hit the three dots again. Go to the plug. Now we're going to go to this little icon up here in the corner. And we're just going to scroll down to Vibrant Deck. We're going to install this. And then you go into Vibrant Deck and change saturation to one. 80. Oh, it does not like that. I thought you could just type it in. But you want to do it to 180. So let's see if I can do this with a mouse. Drag. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Do it with the uh, controller, actually. There we go. 180. And I have found that that is the perfect level for myself you might want to play around with it you can also do user profiles up here for each game or application but um, I found that that made it look the best and as you can see how much more poppy those colors are um, so yeah doing those things will make your deck experience 10 times better so cryo utilities decky loader and vibrant deck but the cryo utilities man that's that's for performance, that's a must. So, alrighty.